Hello again everyone, Edwin Learner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about astrology and the murder slash shooting of Marcellus uh, Stinnett. Uh, this occurred on October 20th. Uh, the time I have is approximately 11.55 uh, p.m. And uh, it took place in a suburb not far from uh, Chicago, Illinois. And I'm going to talk about uh, some astrological placements, aspects on this day uh, that you know, might have been tied into this. The chart uh, cast up, in the cast cast for this uh, day. It's got a, a number of things in it that I could see uh, how this uh, manifested and you know the way it did. The first thing I want to do is offer my uh, prayers, uh, condolences to uh, the family of Marcus Stinnett, and it's. Uh, Thankfully, that uh, his girlfriend had uh, survived this. I think she was shot in the in the hand and maybe the, the stomach. But I don't know if I, I, I don't know where Marcellus was actually shot. It was obviously must have been a, a vital organ for him to have uh, bled and, and died the way he did. He had apparently he had uh, bled for like eight minutes uh, and was, until somebody came uh, came onto the scene that. Uh, attempt to give a medical assistance so that was obviously a very uh, protracted prolonged period for him to have bled and that's where a lot of this uh, controversy is, uh, is surrounding the situation so anyway well the, the first thing I want to talk about I did notice that uh, as far as the, the situation with the, you know with him uh, bleeding fragments that seems to what has taken um, you know, a lot, there's been a lot of emphasis on that part of this uh, news story. And when I cast the chart, I notice, interestingly enough, is that, that Mars, which is connected with blood in Aries, and that's from, you know, Aries could be associated with law enforcement. Mars is conjunct uh, the Midheaven. It's the highest elevated planet in the chart, which takes on more significance. It's also a singleton which could make it more prominent and pronounced and stand out more in its conjunct the midheaven which is what gave you know this this case a lot of notoriety and recognition mars is also associated with blood and mars is also retrograde so that's an indicator of the loss of blood and it's also squaring jupiter in, in this event chart jupiter uh, is also associated with blood and when you have the two two planets associated with blood Mars and Jupiter adversarial that to me can be an it can even you know exacerbate uh, that loss because the square of course is an adverse aspect now and also Jupiter being in Capricorn Capricorn can be associated with authority uh, figures he also also in this chart Jupiter is conjunct Pluto so again I mean it's another indicator of the death uh, connected with uh, somebody connected with the law and being in Capricorn also emphasizes authority in something that was done perhaps in a very you know cold and callous uh, manner and this was something too and it and, and that stellium starting with Jupiter then continuing with Pluto and Capricorn ends with Saturn being in Capricorn and Saturn of course can be very despondent uh, energy and uh, it, it really it is uh, it is something uh, and, you know that really you know it's just terrible that this actually you know something like this transpired but it's obviously nothing new for people uh, in the United States to have these moments uh, take place sadly now Another thing uh, that I noticed too, uh, looking at the chart, there's also a, a fixed T-square. I've noticed a number of these, mo you know, these moments, these high-profile shootings that take place. There often be a T-square in the chart. When you have a T-square in the chart, uh, it can be a lot of tribulation, a lot of adversity, even even something that you know fits connected with some kind of crisis and it's some often it's a, a very uh, you know negative uh, you know, event takes place it seems like with these 
um, T-squares because in, in a T-square you do have a lot of adversarial energy and conflict. Now the one thing, the T-square I'm looking at, okay, it's, it involves Uranus and Taurus in the 10th house of you know, recognition, notoriety, uh, authority. It's making an opposition to Mercury and Scorpio. And that energy is squared by a Leo Ascendant. Now some people don't use the Ascendant as a point in a uh, configuration. In a, in a natal chart, but I think it is. It's somewhat controversial. Some people don't like, you know, using that. I think the ascendant is a very strong proponent or element uh, in one's chart. It may not be like a physical or tangible astrological body, but I still think it has significance, so I do uh, use it. Now, Uranus making the opposition to uh, Mercury and Scorpio. Well, Mercury and, and Scorpio, I mean by itself can be can can manifest in very you know incisive uh you know communications and you're talking about making the opposition to um to uranus uranus is the planet associated with freedom so it, it's telling me that you know it's really about trying to get away you know freeing oneself away from uh Basically, that energy uh, with Mercury, uh, Mercury uh, in Scorpio, and it's ad and you have it that it's, that it's adversarial, making uh, making that uh, opposition. And this is something where you know people that you know are not conforming, that are going, that are rebelling, are go trying to get away from that communication, such as the incisive communication, perhaps by the police telling, perhaps initially telling these people. Uh, to, to stop and they you know, still proceeded to take off and then you have the the point of uh, you know the focal point of this configuration which is the Leo ascendant could be a point of over accentuation over emphasis and when you're talking about Leo energy it can be I mean given it's the ascendant it's this you know it comes out very strongly very strong outward expression perhaps of uh, giving the impression of grandeur that I'm the dominant person. It also could manifest negatively in arrogance. When you're talking about a T-square configuration, it can be bring out very negative astrological energy associated with the astrological planets and, 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 and signs that are involved. And I think that shows that point of overemphasis and over uh, compensation at this point it's about perhaps an authority figure trying to strut their authority just a little bit more than what was uh, necessary another thing I noticed too is that uh, Neptune falls uh, in this chart in the event chart Neptune and Pisces retrograde falls in the ninth house of the law and apparently the, the police uh, the policeman's uh, body camera was not it was not turned on right away. Neptune can be, Pisces energy can be associated with photography, and I would say that would include cameras as well, and it's retrograde. So it's no surprise that there was this delay in actually filming what was actually transpiring. The um, policeman, um, I believe it's Don, I don't know if I'm saying it right, uh, Dante uh, Salinas. Um, he was, um, I may not be pronouncing his name wrong, I'm sorry, this print is very, very small on this chart uh, that I'm looking at. And the thing is, uh, he was, I, I interestingly enough, I looked him up, I found his uh, birthday online. It was on the, uh, the My Life website, mylife.com, and according to the information on there, he's a Scorpio sun and Jupiter conjuncts his son and as you know in astrology as I've stated in previous videos and many of you know this entered uh, anyway that Jupiter uh, in astrology though it's very strongly benign and benevolent could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand and it can enlarge in some negative manifestation with Don, uh, Dante Salinas 
the basic character of Scorpio, the negative qualities, it could be something sadistic or, or vengeful qualities that might have been large. Now, at the same time, I don't want to convict a person without a trial, figuratively speaking, but he was uh, terminated. Uh, he was the person that shot at, uh, at, um, at Marcellus and you know, ultimately led to his, uh, led to his death. But, um, and another thing I notice in, um, in, da, in um, Dante's chart is that he had a very tight opposition between Chiron and Taurus. And Chiron and Taurus in the solar sunrise chart is very close proximity to the seventh house cusp of open adversaries. So this is something where um, it, it shows that there can be, you know, you know, was suffering in, in connection uh, with that, who he saw as an open adversary, perhaps creating wounds in a way with that, uh, you know, with that person, or just in, in, in Chiron in, in the seventh house or conjunct the seventh house cusp can also manifest in suffering in, in legal issues. So this could be some kind of stubborn you know, situation that may come around for him that he's going to be going through his own emotional wounds uh, in connection uh, with this. So I'm sure they're going to, you know, they're going to investigate this very extensively and see if they could bring any criminal charges on uh, on this man. So this is a, something that he has to uh, obviously is you know, something that he. I, I mean, if I were him, I'd be a little bit worried and concerned at this point in time and, and depending on his time of birth Dante also he either has a Sagittarius or Capricorn and when I did the solar sunrise chart in which I put the Sun at the same point as his ascendant it gave uh, a moon in Sagittarius that was almost at 29 degrees and he was also if his moon is in Sagittarius he was going through a lunar return at the time because the moon is in um, you know, is in uh, was in Sagittarius at the time of the shooting. The South Node and is uh, in transit, um, you know, separation at the time. South Node and Sagittarius separating from the Moon in Sagittarius, which could be an indicator of leaving happy, jocular, jovial type feelings at this time, and and that's pretty much what this was about because it was very you know a lot of energy that was very sad and despondent in connection uh with this uh with the shooting sadly and hopefully no when whatever happens that there will be justice for our for marcella stanette and anyway people i'm gonna say that's pretty much it i mean for this uh astrological segment until next time people i've learned since they're up